Let's talk about the Sony Link Buds. These are the new earbuds from Sony. They're different in their overall design. They're not gonna look like your 1000 XM4s. They're not gonna look like your 1000 XM3s. They're not even gonna look like your WFC 500s. These are gonna be a new departure from Sony into a new frontier, which are open earbuds. So currently I have the Sony Link Buds inside my ear and let me show you something. There's a dramatic change if you change the ear hooks. So there's these things comes with a little of these little ear hooks. Now depending on which size you choose you might want to get the smaller one or the bigger one depending on how your ear is shaped. Now this is going to be very different from the ear hooks you might have used that are coming with things like your Sony earbuds or even your Bose earbuds that have bigger tips and wing tips that go inside your ear right here. So imagine this is coming with just this part and not this part. So in terms of correct wearing, you want to pinch the headset, insert it into your ear, then push the fitting supporter, which is that little silicon groove, into the ear groove. And then once touch the fitting supporter with your finger and check it, it is in your ear groove. So you guys see that it is definitely in my ear groove. And you want that to be in your ear groove because that's going to be what's ultimately anchoring it inside your ear. But you won't even notice it's there. And if you want to replace the fitting supporters, if you feel the size of the fitting supporters does not fit your ears, change the fitting supporter to another size that fits your ear better. I use these. They're super easy to use. All you got to do is just triple tap. If I want to just go back on the left side or I want to play or I want to stop, watch. I don't have to touch them. I just got to tap around them. So now I just went to the previous song. If I triple tap this song, this side triple tap, I went back to forward one song. If I double tap, I paused. If I double tap again, I play. Look at this. I'm not even touching them. It's all motion activated, which is really cool. And finally, I think it comes down to the app. Inside the app, you're going to get all these features and it also gives you a tutorial on how to properly utilize them, including wide area tap. So if you that's the wide area tap, you have available operations like um, triple tapping for a next song, rejecting a call. But you can program these yourself because these are customizable. If you want to see what else you get inside, you can have a sound and you can control the equalizer inside inside the app. So you can do speak to chat. You can also do an equalizer. Let's see how many settings our equalizer gives us. We have custom one, two off. We got bright. I got excited. I got mellow. I got relaxed. I got vocal. I got treble boost. I got bass boost. And I got speech and I got manual. So every time you change this, what you're hearing inside your ear, you're going to notice a recognizable change in the audio. So right now I have it on bass. I feel the bass. Now these are not going to have the same punchy bass again, like these, these type of, um, like these type of closed earbuds, because these go deeper into your ear. They're going to be able to have that passive seal and they're going to be heavier because these are only weighing you a total of four grams each. So when you put that all together, who are these right for, right? You're going to be saying, who are these right for? Who should I, who should get these? So Apple AirPods uses an open ear design and an open ear design just means I don't have to put something inside my ear canal. So depending on what you are into, you might not, you might not want that. Maybe your ear is not shaped that way. Maybe you're not going to get that type of um, great fit or seal that you would expect. And it's more uncomfortable. So these are the Sony 1000 XM4s. And these are widely considered the best earbuds of 2021, 2020 right now. These are active noise canceling, but they have to go inside your ear, right? They have to go inside for it to hold its spot. Now, Sony has come out with a new design, which is going to be this open ear design. And these are called the Link Buds. So the Link Buds have this different shape. They have just this small silicon wing that you would find on things like your Bose but they also come with a hole in the center. You guys see there's a hole in the center. So you get much better ambient pass through. So you're gonna be able to hear what's inside or what's happening around you. And the little tab here goes into that little flex port. But I wanna show everyone what the difference is between these and the Apple Air Buds. And 
the Apple AirPods for all of their greatness, for all of the, you know, all of their hype. And these are the third generation with the shorter stem. What I did, what I do like better about the Sony's is that both are going to actually be really good if you're just walking around or you're taking phone calls or doing things like this. But if you are actually doing work for workflow and these are kind of like you have this speaker, you have, imagine you have this like tiny speaker around your ear and then you could control it using the gesture controls without even pressing any buttons here. But on your apples, because it doesn't have that pass through, you're going to be having to first, you're going to have to touch it to control it. But second, it doesn't, it doesn't have that same type of ambient openness. While these, it just sounds really natural and realistic. And this is kind of the features. Also, if you take these to the gym, and I'm testing these at the gym, I would not recommend them for anyone who does CrossFit or does boxing or anything very aggressive because of how they fit. Because you don't have that extra piece inside your ear, uh, they do have a tendency to, to, be, to be easier to take out. So you guys see how easy it is to take out my AirPods. Right, you guys see how easy it is. I'm just gonna pop them out and they're already out. Same thing with the link buds. If I just wanna take them out, it's just one, two, three. It's not gonna be some type of maneuvering. Or The closest I find to the Sony link buds is actually gonna be the buds live from Samsung. These Galaxy Buds lives are very similar, I think in their approach, except they do things differently. But the Samsung Galaxy Buds look like this. And this is on our left side. We're gonna take our left side out on our, on our buds here. And they look like that. You can see that they are kind of similar. They're kind of similar in terms of overall shape because they both have that kind of seashelly shape. Obviously, the Link Buds have that big circle in the middle while your Samsung Galaxy Buds Live look more like a jelly bean. So you'll hear a lot less passive noise on your Samsung Galaxy Buds Live than on your Sony Link Buds. And that's because these still create a somewhat of a seal around your ear canal, even though they go, go in your ear. This one just has a big donut in the middle. So you can basically hear everything that's going around you. And that's cool. So I'm really excited about the possibility of these Sony open earbuds because I've never tried anything like this before. And maybe it's going to be a game changer. Maybe in five, 10 years, we're going to be wanting to hear each other more and block out the ambient noise less. But who are these for? These are for people who might have kids or children and then want to listen to music, but also hear what they're doing. It might be for the person who wants to exercise, but also hear their instructor's voice. It might be per for those people who are walking down the street and want more ambient environmental noise so they know what's going on. And they don't want to be having that kind of staticky or artificial sounds that you get if you use transparency mode, even on the best no active noise canceling earbuds like on the Bose or the Sony's or even on your Tozos or on your on your Apple AirPod Pros. So even against Apple AirPod Pros, um, these are going to be different. And I like that difference. I think that difference is what makes them special. And I think that special part of it is kind of bringing just a new opportunity, a new audio experience, because not all of us are gonna have the same ears. Not all of us have the same ear holes. And fit is equally important, lightweight is equally important as overall quality, as overall comfort, as overall audio. Uh, so fit is fit and lightweight is equally as important in my book as sometimes as audio quality. Because if they don't fit comfortably in your ear, if they're too heavy, they're falling out, then what's the point of having great audio quality? Because they won't stay. You can't hear it anyway. And I think these link buds have a special place. Just remember, you got to change the little groove tips that they give you because it's based on the shape of your ear on this part not so much the shape of your inside. And that's gonna be a paradigm shift for a lot of us. So check them out. These are our Sony Link Buds. I like them. I think they're cool. I'll catch you next time. Bye guys. This is David from DeFrench Glow signing off. Peace out y'all.